happy to hear this week that Notting Hill Carnival has been cancelled. I think the second year in a row, I think it will have been cancelled. Yeah. That normally takes place on the August Bank holiday. And we were talking about this just before now, like off air. And um, Simran, you said, made a very good point that that is the exact same weekend um, as like festivals. Mm-hmm. Like you were like, oh yeah, part of life's the week after, which is true. But then also, Reading and Leeds is that exact same weekend. Crazy. And those are still set to go ahead like if i'm being honest when they first said like festivals are still going ahead i was a bit like eh. <laughs> like how how, huh? how how is that gonna happen yeah but um i think if if reading and leeds and part life does go ahead but carnival doesn't i that that is very unfair <laughs> like, that is, yeah. like you can't say and the fact it's it's i'm shocked as well actually that they've cancelled it this far ahead do you know what I mean? Like, I would have thought they would have, like, waited and seen, like, yeah, maybe until, like, true. the beginning of August and seen, like... I think, yeah, also, like, the, not even just Reading, Leeds and Park Life, but also the fact that what's happening today? Download yeah. Festival. Yeah, so currently this weekend, I believe, Download Festival, which I think is, like, rock music and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, take, that is t- full on taking place. I saw that on the news. I went on the news this morning and saw, like, oh, festival goers head to the Download Festival. It's like what what and then apparently this is similar to the um liverpool Uh raves that happened that were like legal and like test events so apparently the government said download festival can be the test event so that festival is going on full swing because i remember i think it was on bbc ever the article it was like mosh pits in return and i was like wait what (laughs) so on the plus side of things one would think that if mosh pits etc occur and covid spread isn't that bad Mm -hmm. then it would act as precedent for events to happen in the future however that's isn't that what happened at liverpool and like still yeah i mean i just well i did see something about the liverpool trial having quite a good outcome Mm. as in in terms of like the spike wasn't as expected or whatever like it didn't really increase cases however you were supposed to get tested both before and after attending, and apparently only forty six percent turned out to get a test after the event. Mm. So the turnout post event was pretty poor. Also, you weren't allowed to go to it if you tested positive before. Yeah. So I am kind of like, what's the so point? It, if, if everyone that was going yeah. is meant to be COVID negative in the first place, so then by like association, <laughs> surely no one would have gotten it regardless, yeah. right? But whatever, we move. Um. I just think when you have like the three events that happen in Liverpool, which are thousands of people, Download Fest, which is going to be thousands, Reading, Leeds and Park Life, also thousands. Mm. The one event that you're can- cancelling, which isn't even a festival, it's just like a parade, carnival kind of situation yeah. where I don't think it'd be as many people as like Reading and Leeds, you mm. know? I, yeah. I know it's a lot. I know it's thousands of people, but I don't think it'd be a festival capacity yeah. level. I could be wrong. Fact check me. But... um. The fact that that is the one event that is rooted in the culture of London, specifically in the Afro-Caribbean culture, and that is the one that they've decided to cancel out of all five things I've just mentioned. You can't say it doesn't have racist undertones. Yeah. And that's being, like, polite about it. (laughs) You know what it is as well is that the fact they've cancelled it this far ahead. I know you could make a point if they cancelled it just before as well. Yeah. But the fact they've cancelled this far ahead, that is gonna anger a lot of people and a lot of people are going to celebrate that weekend regardless. I was gonna say, do you think people will just turn out on the streets? Because it is just like yeah, obviously it's, it's like, not like you know like wireless is in Finsbury Park or I don't know, you know, when's where's Park Life Park Life is in Park Life's meant what it's called yeah, or, um heating park. That's yeah. it. Um this is obviously just Notting Hill on the streets, so yeah. people could very easily turn themselves out. It's a home, it's a homegrown grassroots thing. People mm. that people own the costumes, people own the parade floor. It's like local businesses. They could set up stalls, yeah. you know. Also, aren't you allowed now under the current rules to have however many people you want in your garden? I, I believe think. so. Yes, yeah, or is so it up to thirty? I, I think it might. It's either up to thirty yeah. or it's like unlimited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Like, technically yeah i mean 30 it might people stick in groups of 30 there's kind of like what what can you do there's too many loopholes again we're not anyway. we're not telling people <laughs> to do this we're just but like if you see me and not <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. yeah we're one of those like what's it called balaclavas oh my gosh <laughs> but um yeah i wouldn't be surprised i think i'm not gonna be surprised if people don't listen to that because if 
festivals do happen that same weekend how can you be telling people to not you yeah, know what i mean i mean considering it's, they're all happening in different locations obviously the, the, Met, the metropolitan police could enforce their own rules and that would be i think it'd be very hard to be like oh but leeds is happening like mm. that wouldn't make any sense yeah. but in the grand scheme of things the disconnect is so real and the it's so apparent which events they're targeting and which events are not it's almost the same thing with the eid restrictions yeah. just before the night before and then eid getting cancelled two two years in a row yeah like it's very um supportive of british and english white events and very like a massive like villainizing of uh bame cultures i feel like has happened in, across this whole pandemic mm. it's not i mean the thing is they've been like oh yeah it's because like him um, they always like go over to each other's houses they always do this always yeah, do that but or... it's just, it's it's more a fact of people that whole idea of like nuclear family and that it, uh-huh. it does it exists exactly. within the and that's, and cultures also, we have that we have those family makeups and that's our cultural practice that you know in any other situation they're like oh we should celebrate it because diversity whatever check your box um but other than that um, and we spoke about this before that everyone who was working the key workers are te- typically the lower income paid roles and the vast majority of people in those roles belong to BAME communities putting themselves at the most risk hence why the rates were higher in our community and no one wanted to think about that they still don't want to think about it period 